Eastern one year. <laughs> Cindy, I'm going to admit our guests that they can also see. Okay. All right, I would like to call to order the Park and Recreation Commission meeting uh, with Town of Beatum for Monday, February 28, 2022. Um, thank you everyone for attending. Um, since this meeting is a hybrid, partially in person, partially remote, I have to read this script, which we used to read when we were completely remote. Uh, so good evening, this open meeting of the Needham Park and Recreation Commission is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth for the effort of the COVID-19 virus. Uh, in order to mitigate the transmission of the virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and such the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order allows public bodies to meet uh, entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is supported so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participa participation is required by law. Uh, this meeting will, says will not feature public comments, but we certainly will hear from communities and our audience. Uh, for this meeting, we are convening uh, in person and by Zoom, as posted on the town's website on our agenda today. Um, Please note this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and uh, take care not to screen share your computer. Anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have, provided, have been provided to members of this body are available on the town's website. Uh, let's see. And we will now turn to the agenda. Or do that with the roll call. Okay. Um, so let me do a roll call of the commission. And do I need to do the staff also? Okay. So um, let me start. I'm Cynthia Jackson. I am the chair. Uh, Michelle Geddes. Here. Here. Uh, Chris Gerstel. Here. Dean Hannigan. Here. And our director, Stacey Mulroy. Here. And our assistant director, Fabian DeRulo. Here. And our um, recording secretary, Kristen Rice. Yeah. I'm Sarah, Administrative Specialist, but I know that's not the case. <laughs> All right, so now that we've dispensed with that, um, don't we start with our agenda? Um, also, attending are um, two folks, I believe, from Weston and Samson. Um, can you introduce them, Stacey? I think it's us. <laughs> so we have. You guys want to unmute? We have Cass. I'm not even going to pretend to say that I say your last name, Cass. And from Weston and Samson. Hello, everyone. Nice to see Hi. you. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having us. Welcome. We're glad that you could come. Um, and if you don't mind, I would like to ask um, people in the audience to introduce themselves. I will. I like that Ed Olson is in the back and he just. Uh, he is our director of Parks and Park. Superintendent. Superintendent, sorry, Superintendent of Parks and Park. Um, and you folks wouldn't mind just introducing yourselves. Um, Suzanne Baker um, from Nina Baseball and Softball, representing the user group. Steve Ryan from Nina Baseball and Softball, as well as a high school parent of the softball player. Andrew Baker. 
If your name, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, so our agenda tonight, our first item is open forum public comments. We don't have any members of the uh, public here besides the folks who are here for softball and baseball. So we'll skip that. Chair's update. I have comments, but I will get them at the end of the meeting so that we can get right to our class in field discussion. Um, so I would like to start just by framing up where we are at this point and um, some of these items have been discussed by the commission. Some will be new to some of the commissioners tonight. So um, let, let me just start. So as we all know, we had a, a fabulous project we thought was going to happen at Claxton Field to make it a premier softball uh, venue. Um, that project, as we originally envisioned it, is probably not going forward that way. Um, as we know, that site was a former dump, a burning dump at one point. It has been a field that has served us well for probably 60 years, but it was a dump at least back in the 1950s, and I think it was covered around 1959 or 1960. Um, so this project started with Weston and Samson doing some sampling over there. Um, what we found that there is uh, solid waste material and ash. If you uh, bore down a little bit into that field, into the soil, um, probably shouldn't be a surprise since it was a burning dump. A little bit of a surprise to us to, uh, to hear some of that. Um, our goal of this is to come up with an excellent softball facility for our girls in town who play softball. And um, in case you haven't noticed, three of the commissioners are women and many of our staff are women. So we are very interested in girls' sports. Um, but we want them to be on a good field that is safe. So we have um, spent a lot of time with Weston and Sampson and some of you folks, or all of you folks, have invested a lot in your own time um, coming up with questions about what we can do with this project and for girls softball. And we are committed to doing something um, to help girls softball. In the short term, um, it looks like we anticipate that the girls will be playing at Claxton. Um, Ed Olson and his folks have done some aggressive uh, topical treatments, he, he called it, uh, as well as there will be a new fence put up um, and some other amenities. Um, we still have to solve the, the lack of irrigation and the fact that we need water over there. We are aware of that. Um, and we've talked to Ed about that and we're going to see what we can do about that. Um, there will be some more testing done at that field. Later this month, when the snow is gone and hopefully the frost line is, is gone, uh, to determine what we can do. Uh, but at this point, it looks like we don't think that field can be um, renovated to put in the lights that we thought we want that we wanted to put in. There's like a considerable amount of uh, footings. Uh, I'm using the wrong word. I count not a field expert or not an engineer. Um, so that is problematic. Um, so we're not sure exactly where we will end up with that. We, we think we will um, be able to improve the lighting at Claxton, what is there now, but we certainly can't do what we thought we could do. Um, so we will be looking to see is there another venue for girls softball? And we think there, there will be. I mean, it has to be. There's no really no choice for us. We have girls softball, and it's a sport that's I think it's growing, lots of girls are playing it, and um, we certainly want our varsity girls to have a, a good field complex. So we have asked Weston and Sam to come. You folks have sent in some questions. I think Steve in particular, I assume Henry had some too. Um, so Weston and Samson has answered some of those questions. Um, we have spent some time as a commission talking to Weston and Samson and talking somewhat amongst ourselves. Um, and this is where we think we are right now. It's not where we hoped we would be, but we think we can uh, we can make it work. But it, the timing may not be what we thought it would be. What we did know last fall that this project was on a very tight schedule that it could happen. So uh, unfortunately not here. But I would open it up first of all to my fellow commissioners and to our staff if you folks have anything to say or to add. Um, and then 
um, to what's in the same sort of in the market. So, Chris, do you have anything to add? No, I mean, just with, you know, behind the scenes of, I know there's been a lot of communications going on, a lot of questions being thrown back and forth. And I think it's great that the user groups are here tonight and Olson is here tonight. Weston and Samson's here tonight. So we're not all going back saying, let me talk to this person and find out essence. Like we're all at the end of this meeting going to be on the same page. I know it's been tough and it's been long of trying to get there, but I think this is where it's all going to be resolved out. We're all going to have a clear path where we're going and have a clear understanding of where we're going to be at the end of this discussion. And I think it's good that everyone that is present in this room or on this call is part of this. So there's going to not going to be any doubt in people's mind. I would just add that while the original scope project is not the one we're going forward with, we are committed to making sure that these girls have a field, a good, a great field, not just a field. So we're committed to moving a new project forward within the boundaries that we have. And, and I would say um, we are probably as disappointed as you are at, at where we are, because this is not what we anticipated and what we expected. So. Um, we, we share your disappointment um, and we appreciate your, your comments and your questions. Um, but um, with that, I would open it to Ed before we move forward. Come up to the chairs. Would you stand up with a big thank you all <laughs> for having me, first of all? Uh, to add to what the chairman said, <clears throat> You know, when we all met months ago, we talked about the field project, we talked about desires, lighting, and irrigation, school, and electric, all the accoutrements of the first cut studio. And that's what we tried to accomplish through the first cut of design. Uh, I think at one point, Karis Lustig, our director of public works, put out a time frame deliverables at certain dates that meet the CPC deadline application. The big driver behind this project. At this point in design, we were born as the school board. I think you also remember from the extent we discussed what was found there. It, it wasn't a surprise. However, it changes the scope of this project. Anything is possible. We can put lights at this field. We can do anything. However, to do those things, to go into the, the soil profile there, will trigger a process for the DEP. And that process would be lengthy, two, three, four years, possibly we would close that facility offline completely during that process. Uh, so I think it gave us pause to think about, first and foremost, can we afford to lose that confidence? And I think the answer is no. We have nowhere else where our real softball is going to be played. Currently, that could satisfy the needs of our high school athletics, never mind the youth sporting groups. So it kind of gave us pause to think about what we can do and how do we get to the goals that we all want to see. And I think as was alluded to, it, it, it gave us pause enough to think about a little bit outside the box. To say we know the girls need school board, irrigation, first class amenities. And I don't want to break this tonight, but I think we have the design funds for the cloud field to look at potentially bringing the girls to the Fazio to be part of the gang in there and have really all our athletes at one complex with the best possible conditions. And secondarily, is we could do lights and class, but like I said, it might take us three years and it might take us to the tune of millions of dollars with all the remediation work with the EP process. Uh, so I think we can run parallel tracks and open this information where now I think we can really think about our design from the cloud and maybe with the help of the commission, the community think about the possibilities of maybe changing that from baseball field to a softball field. Providing lights, having a school board, and still meet the drivers behind that project when it was funded by CPC and Tommy. Those drivers were meet with the user groups, figure out what the best solutions are, make a pathway for the participants and expected to go to the turf fields that's safe while the fields are in use, formalizing the cross, throwing the wall together, make it finished off, and you know, put turf, bring that in, put a fence that separates softball and baseball from uh, all these things. You talked about the spectator. Seating, we talked about safety fencing. Right now, parents that go to games they are parked in the parking lot way back because foul ball smack windows. So, I think again, not to say we pivoted, but we can do, I think, a lot of the original goals from two different projects. I think we are limited that if we want to continue at class, then we have to think of a more topical approach. And a topical approach can achieve many of the same goals that we all wanted, but they won't get a brand new lighting system. 
or an in ground irrigation system. Uh, it can get us better field conditions. And as uh, you saw, Steve in passing response, you know, a good point about foundation, putting all those things in the great ground on a on contaminated site, we have to trim the process. And that process looks different than just a simple field renovation. Is it possible? Of course, but again, we don't want to trigger a full BEP process. We do a more topical approach, try to fix and work with the fence, fencing and footings of the day. Maybe strip all the fabric and re and, uh, new fencing. Uh, again, putting in slabs and concrete for spectator seating, bleachers, shade structures, the, th the things that we need there and we want. Uh, but again, if we go full course field renovation, we will lose that complex for sure uh, for years. And, and I don't think we can do that right now. So I think to, to add what the chairman started to say is, you know, again, this is where we're at in the design. This next month is going to be instrumental. I think knowing what we know now uh, is we want to make sure the field is safe. We have 60 years worth of field uses. I don't think we have any body of people getting sick there, but I think our next step working with licensed service professionals through Western Center is making sure that the field is safe today so that we haven't been introducing people to harm's way. Um, and we're going to do that through some additional soil testing. And really, again, no surprise that deep down we, we incurred, incurred slag. You know, I, I use the word slag because the gray, ashen type material that's deep in that, in that profile there, we knew it was an open burning site. Um, However, it's a capped site, so it's capped with soil. So, is that a protection layer or not? We don't know. So, that's where I think our next questions are. That's where the next month is going to be really important to figure out again if topical improvements are going to be warranted and how we're going to be able to accomplish that. Or, worst case scenario, you know, thinking about the what is that, that could be pulled out of the sites. So, uh, thank you. Thank you all. Um, I'll open up to you folks. I know that you have some questions, and Steve, you certainly had sent some questions. And, and, and who, who would like to start? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll speak. Um, you know, thank you guys all for some great information from the prior meetings and all of that. I think uh, it probably goes without saying that there's probably nobody more disappointed with this whole process than this whole thing. Quite as, as, as I am, um, I think that very cool. You guys, as well as the Puerto Rican town who will listen, um, because it's just disappointing, right? It's 2022, and we're sitting here six months after this initial conversation, um, kind of going backwards. It's great to hear, but the potential of the cloud, these are all kind of great options. It's disappointing that we're six months late. Uh, I don't think there's any benefit in sitting here because, quite honestly, a bunch of these statements are here that are quite frankly very self serving. Right? There's no sense of benefit in, in talking about those. But let's move forward. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, for whatever that's worth, I know I offer my opinion sometimes, it wasn't always taken or not, which is fine, I understand that. But in my opinion, spending any money on Claxton beyond some type of temporary measure that that's fine is, makes no sense. That site is clearly, for because of its prior use, should be left as it is. Anything you can do to temporarily do it, band aid it, whatever solution you can come up with for girls. I don't know if you've got a PR issue on your hands with when the word gets out that that's not going to become a deal because of some of the issues with the environment. I'm glad to hear additional testing is going on. I'll leave that out to you guys the message, but you know, things we're in town. Um, moving forward and finding another location in town to provide the girls a first class facility is what should be done. Um, it's disappointing. Uh, quite not surprising knowing uh, that that probably won't happen for my daughter. My daughter's here as a sophomore. Uh, knowing the archaic and glacial pace that things happen in town politics, I got a fifth grade. I'm not even sure I'm ready for her. But somebody will have her. And at least from some man, at least we'll know <laughs> that we gave everything we could. And at some point, uh, there'll be something respectable. For girls to play at this time. Because the reality is, there's little bit of fields in this town better than the high school fields. There's a middle school field, quite frankly, that's better than the high school fields. It's not right. It's not right. And while it's great to have everyone's attention and everyone's approach and all this stuff, 
It's disappointing that it, we had to bring this to this point. It's disappointing that we had to kind of vocalize this, but really, I know you got, I know it's something I get it. But again, we had to vocalize our display draft for that first meeting in September. Which the, we wouldn't have known this, we wouldn't have known this intro for probably maybe six months or a year. I don't know, right? I mean, all, all three, right? Like, no, I think you're right. We so, until late this year. But again, regardless, right? So at least the silver lining there, right? We actually got the process and we found out we got a problem, so we're going to go later. That's good. So at this point, in my opinion, we should pivot, shift gears. Um, I've looked at McLeod, I've done some layouts there. It works. It's certainly the ability to do it, but it does for other town fields. I don't know. Works. I don't know the politics behind potentially losing a soccer field or what that means. Um, but to me, that's the right place to go. You can get everything you want. There's enough space there that you can get everything you want. You can do it the right way. And these kids can have what they deserve. So, so we agree with that. Um, in terms of Claxton, we will do what it takes so that this coming season it will be as good as it could be. Um, and then as a commission, we will bring it to the town in terms of, is there something there that should be remediated? Um, we're certainly not going to shy away from that. We're not going to hide behind anything that needs to have something done. We will do it. Uh, if we can't dig down because then that triggers things and that means we don't dig down and then we can't yeah. use it that way. I mean, we're, you know, again, we're not going to, the commission has no interest in, yeah. in hiding anything. We have no interest in having to feel that it's safe. And so there's no reason to move a school to a very often. Trigger any type of need. No reason. It's a waste of time and my mind and money. Not a good use. Okay. You all heard me talk the last time I was here and how upset I was that my daughter's been going to this baseball field and seeing all these fields. You all heard. I think the thing that I keep coming back to and that I think about, and it, you know, as, as far as I know, the only the only sports where they fundamentally plan a different field, girls and boys, is, is softball. Right? I think I'm pretty sure otherwise it's pretty much the same. Soccer, same field, tennis, pool, swimming, or not pool, swimming, uh, um, field hockey plays on the same field as football or soccer. Like they're in a chance, like softball and baseball, unless I'm not sure if my friends here will correct me if I'm wrong, give me stuff for the rest of my life. But I got <laughs> But I think those are the only two sports. So really, when we say that we want to do stuff for girls, it's like that's that's like a prime example. That's 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 the only one that I think we could hold up to say, see, like we can say well, you've got a great soccer field, both boys also you got a great football, you can't have it, or you have a great field back for both football team also have it. So far, I think is the only one where it's a fundamentally different field. I see what my so so my daughter would be here older. I'm sure she's not gonna play on the field. She's never been on the field. She's not she's, 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 she's gone on other fields and played on the field. Yeah. And but her, her young brother has played on the field here now. And it's you know very uh it's very it's, 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 I think that's all I can say. So I think um, um I would echo Amy's comments around her process and time. So on September 13th, we sat this room and then told us for the first time that things were not on track after already getting, I'll call them excuses, uh, around COVID delaying the project finish. Right? I know that's a harsh term. Everybody, nobody expected COVID to happen, but the reality is, is that it happened. Review. So at that meeting, we talked about four to six weeks of field work. And then we talked about a plan after that. Designs for bid by the end of the year. It's now March 1st tomorrow. And we still really haven't figured anything out. So you as committee members, you have to take ownership of that and you have to help us try to get this back on track for the time. Because there's really no reason why we had to miss the CPC games. We missed them originally. We missed them. We knew about the uh, testing on the 14th. The CPC date was the 4th, correct? So y'all put it in, nice class. But now that we have this information, which 
according to Ed, was not a surprise. And candidly to all of us, we know that it's not a surprise. So what I ask you to do, what I'm imploring you to do, is please don't just use another excuse. Figure out a way, collectively, with the people in this room who have asked time and time and time again to be advocates for you, to help you, to figure out how to get this to these girls in a reasonable time. 2024, it's just not reasonable. It isn't. And you shouldn't be embarrassed. And I know I am embarrassed for my girls that I spend, I spent this entire weekend putting together teams for the largest group of girls that have played softball in town from second to fourth eighth grade. We have 280 girls. When Henry, Henry's here now, when Henry and I started with Steve in the program, we had 180 girls this year. We have 100 more girls playing in the span of like four or five years. That's not by accident. It's because we give a damn. We, we care, right? And we're, we're building a program. And we're, you know, we've improved the uniforms. We've, 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 we've improved the facility. Baseball and softball program in town paid to have Avery re refurbished for the younger kids. We didn't spend money on Plaxton because we were told it was going to be fixed by the community that these girls are a part of, that we don't pay taxes. So the reality is, is that we failed out of the gates. We can blame it on the slag. We can do whatever we want. But we didn't have the time for us to begin with. And we have to own that. And I'm part and parcel with you. I am happy to go and be your voice and be your advocate. But damn it, let me. Let's figure out a way to do it instead of just saying, let's kick the can down the road another year. Because Steve's daughter, you should see this girl pitch. She pitches like a beast. She throws at 60 miles an hour. She's probably, you know, she may play in college, right? And she's going to play on not the best fields for her entire time in this town. And it's not fair to her. She should be proud. When she signs her letter of intent, she should do it at a new facility. She should have that as her backdrop. She shouldn't have to be at a, a, a fence or she should, if it rains, damn it, that day, she should be able to do it in a dugout, for God's sake. There's not one girl that's been protected from rain in this town. Not one when it's raining. Not one time. Boys, no problem. They're under the cover of it. So I ask you to be creative, to be thoughtful, and be inclusive of us. Because if you're not, I, I don't really know what else to say except for this. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? We have Weston and Samson here. If you had any questions, we thought you might have some technical questions, soil questions. Um, is there any reason to, to ask about the, I, I mean, the, the biggest question I think I had from the technical perspective for, for Weston and Samson is just simply the need to take the soil off property, right? As, as I understand it, this is Dr. Andy, um, that the soil could be dispersed across. And if we were to dig up the soil and recover it, what's the difference? Right? Like I, I, you know what I mean? Like I don't if we if we don't if we don't take it off site, I mean the memo was fairly clear that the issue was about transferring, but I don't know anything about this. But the memo said if we take it off site, it triggers the DEP. So we don't I do we not have this problem? Uh, no, so you bring up a good point. So typically the way most things, if you don't mind if I'll jump in, is that you would try to do a balanced site. You would lo typically lose that soil elsewhere on site. Um, however, just given what the, just through the observations of the borings uh, and what was seen, I think the, the conversation was that a soil isn't the type that can just be lost elsewhere. I think it's one of those things where you have to do the right thing and treat it appropriately um, once you bring it up and out. And so that's really what that driver is. Um, we love to just make a berm out of it and bury it and do that. The answer is yes, but that's just not what the right answer is here for this type of material we've seen. Do you want to add into that, please? Yeah, to add on that, Cass. So when we put these borings in, what we basically found was that there was minimum of 12 inches in some places more of good, reasonable topsoil um, with the grass on top of it. As you got deeper down, 
you're basically into old trash from the 1950s, um, you know, and ash material. So it would be one thing if it was primarily soil. Yeah, maybe we'd have the option of putting a berm in somewhere and covering over it. But when this material is dug up in all likelihood, it's it's going to be weathered trash from, you know, when this facility was operational as a burn dump. Um, the realities with material like that is you uh, you basically have to dispose of it off site um, and there are limited options on where it can go. The most realistic option is it would be getting trucked up to New Hampshire and disposed of at a, a different landfill facility up there at you know high cost. Um, unfortunately, it can't be relocated across the road to the um, the transfer station or the the other you know town landfill um, because that's a closed site. It would take DEP permitting. Again, you'd be into a you know lengthy process with the state to get that material managed. So, um, you know, unfortunately, once you get down into those deeper depths, is when you're running into this material that it's problematic. And the reason it's problematic is mainly from the timeline and regulatory perspective. You need to get um, you know coordination with DEP. Anything that goes through DEP always takes you know. An amount of time, an amount of cost, and an amount of effort that, that that's you know, fine. that was it. Just seemed like the memo was quite specific in its language, and so it was confusing to the lay person. So, thank you. Can I ask a question about that? Just my curiosity. So, if we knew it was a burn, right, and we're not surprised by the results, why did we even come up with this? Why did we even think of like, hey, let's put in a bunch of new lights? Dig a bunch of foundations and footings and displace a bunch of soil. If we knew what the existing conditions were, and we're not surprised at what we found, why do we even think of it? Because that's what a design does. We don't know. I mean, again, we get design funds. I don't know if that's the data. That's why we. I mean, I'm not going to get it. I get it wrong. I'm asking. I'm not 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 asking. I mean, they're like yeah. they're. I mean, I just I curiosity, right? Like it's, you know, if I, I mean, if we expected it to be what it was, it is. and it is. Why do we even waste time and energy on on? I guess I curiosity. It's been oops, 1960 or whatever. No. So yeah. So so basically, in hindsight, we so got you back. Sorry, my the internet just cut yeah. out. We lost you. We're here. Um, where, is, where is the top question? Here? Here, here, here. All right, Lee. Did you hear the question, Lee? Yeah, I did. And Cass was also chiming in. But to kind of um, answer that, the facility was a dump until the late 1950s. That was prior to any of the current solid waste regulations. It was prior to record keeping. Um, we see sites like this all across the state. and. You know, we anecdotally know, yes, it was a burn dump, but the specific of how it was structured, how it was capped, there just aren't records on it. And so until we, you know, went out and did this program, there could be eight feet of soil, there could be six inches of soil, you really have no way of knowing. Um, so, you know, we we did the first due diligence and, you know, found out that, okay, we only have about a foot, a little bit more in some areas of good material on top of the solid waste. And unfortunately, yeah, that just limits kind of what the design options are and makes it more challenging to go to those deeper depths. I wish there were eight feet of clean fill on top of it, but, you know, unfortunately when we went in and did the borings, we learned that that wasn't the case. I mean, you're right, with mindset, it, it well, doesn't seem like, it seems like we should have known this. We didn't know we've used this field for years. Honestly, I mean, what did Western Santa never say you guys hey, this is a risk? Like we're gonna find a bunch of weather trash and this is gonna be not an I mean, yeah. I mean that's like no, I don't I don't think that was interesting. The commission wouldn't have known that. I would tell no, you. No, I wouldn't expect yeah. I wouldn't expect I would not that. expect commissioners to know that. I would not expect any of you knowing all of you, but knowing the ones that I know and what their backgrounds are. I would expect any of you to rely on a consultant. Right. And I, I will tell you, I will tell you when we did the field of green in 2007, um, with hindsight, softball 
did not have a good advocate, did not have a vote, right? And we can all see that now. Um, and I was on the commission at the time, but it didn't actually stand out and, uh, until we got a few years down the road and then we knew the softball was in that, in that overall thing. It was a great project, it was a great plan, unless you were a softball parent or a softball parent. And that's become obvious. And that's why this project started to, to bubble up, right? And it took a long time to get here. But all the other questions and with hindsight, absolutely, we should have seen this. But, yeah, all I can say is this is where we are. I, you know, I don't have any excuse for you. I, you know, you say take ownership. I think we have taken ownership. We admit that this is not where we wanted to be. This is not what we expected. Um, we were enthusiastic about Claxton when we found out we were at that same meeting with you when we found out it was not going to happen. And you saw our reaction too, I think, I which was, wait a minute, we need to get this fast track. And we did get it fast track, but then Right now, you said it's Mr. Where do we stand going on for the next, say, 60, 90 days? Like, where are we going to be? And this is where Ed and I rely on you, which what you said earlier, what the accoutrement that you've added to currently in the class right now, what we see coming up for the 2022 softball season, and then we can go down the road for there. Like a recap of where we're going to be for this upcoming season. Yeah, I mean, I think it's what we've heard through the meetings is, you know, there were better next to the field that needed to be made. So uh, in, this, in November, we brought in a contractor. Uh, we laser graded Claxton 1 and 2. We brought in 32 tons of material. That project in and of itself cost about $20,000. That's more money than you spent on any field in town this past year. Uh, we bought a brand new fence, $5,000 investment in the green pool of the fence. We install we had in Plaza. It's going to be a similar type fence. It's an in ground system. We have to anchor in the, 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 the anchors and then you basically put it on uh, similar to what's there now. But it's nice. It looks good. It's our colors. And, you know, back to, I think, you know, we talked a little bit. We're not going to be there. We're going to have a good field condition with a new fence. The big thing is the water moisture management. Uh, so we have invested in a product called Inflow. It's by Proficient Precision Laboratories. It's brand new. Lending gauge products specifically not designed for plays surfaces, and we have quite a few bags of that. So I think you'll see just with by us applying that across the one two, the dust control is going to be much better than ever before. It's not going to solve all the problems, but again, I think we work together to keep talking. But you have our commitment, my our crew will do all that it takes to make sure it looks just as good as we can put it on. And I think you'll be surprised when we thought out if. The dog walkers haven't been too bad over the past couple of months to see it's in really good shape. Uh, Chris was out there uh, late November, early December, and we finished that work, and I thought it looked about as good as ever. So I'm, I'm yeah, I know the bases. I know the bases. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. We got new bases for both Claxton 1 and Claxton 2, the safety bases, the ones that actually go into the ground, so you're not just you know measuring out, so you're actually going to have How legit you know? bases there. How are you going to lay those out? You're going to pack into our skin. Well, we can't, we're going to throw down bags still. The softball, you can't use an anchor. It's against the rules of mine. So, again, we can work in that box, but uh, we can't do the in-ground like baseball. Like, they may have updated that one, right? Like, they might have updated that one. Dan, we checked on that one because before we were going to make that investment. We'll, we'll double check. You should replace the whole place along with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had that injury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was broken. Um, that's great. Uh, when we get back to basics, we and send it as a your legal and you're saying you're getting just like this. In regards to, like, I double check with, Jay, with Dan Lee in regards to high school regulations, that that is actually you can put solid bases in ground into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can. That is, a, that is a yes. So, you've never had them in the Right, you've never had them yet. So, so are we getting them? Are yeah. Getting them? We've actually already got them in storage in those in those pods that we have down at uh, at the page. And who's on them? Either we'll find a outside source or as crew we'll, we'll put them in. Okay. Um, so long game April six. <laughs> Schedule's already out. April six. Um, so that's great. So scoreboard doesn't seem possible. 
Not currently. Um, <laughs> we got one that I had in my cat thing. It's crap. It's crap. It's crap. Yes. We'll be like someone going to that clock every minute and putting in one minute. <laughs> We're willing to share, you know, but um, the softball program. Sorry. Okay. Well, I guess what's the plan for these guys to be basically We're going to get a storage unit, um, whether, whether it be temporary or permanent, I'm not sure, probably temporary for the moment. Um, but we will get something up there that will be dedicated to the athletics. Chris, are you like, uh, can we make sure that that storage space is big enough to fit the new uh, pitching machine that we bought for the girl? If you can give us the dimensions of that pitching machine, we'll make sure that's possible. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So, like, the size of the box. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. 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 Google that. Yay yeah. 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 by yay. Yeah. Is it easily portable? It's like. Yeah. 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 So it's not huge. It's just it's 60, 70 pounds. Oh, so, we're yeah. dealing with storage. Actually, tonight on our agenda, down at the over because every school, every new sports group needs storage. So we're we're trying to figure that out to help the sports groups and not have the town have to foot the whole bill and all that. So we, we will look into it for a little bit too. And then, um, so as far as yeah, as far as my plea uh, to somehow get this onto the same timeline that we had before, um, what? What am I doing tomorrow to make that happen? Because I'm doing something, whether it's calling the select board or, or you know, just tell me what to do. Because that's what I'm planning on doing. If you know, if you don't tell me what to do to help, I'm just gonna go. I don't know if you figured it out, but I ain't getting help. So, 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 I'm, so I'm never gonna discourage you from calling. You know, no, we, no, we I, know, but I, mean, I, call. I don't want to waste people's time. Like, I, I candidly, I, you know, I have a full time job and three kids in a life. And I would like to be to work together and collaboratively on this to actually accomplish what we all. I, I, I am going to say this in a respectful way. I do believe that you all want this to happen as fast as I do. I don't believe you want it to happen as much as we do, but I can't. I can't. I, I, I do believe you when you say you guys really want this to happen. That said, I need better than five and a half months to get to this. Like I can't do it again. I can't wait five and a half months to hear it's still 2024, right? Like I want Steve's daughter to play in the school. I hope that my daughter does. So that means that he needs to have in Stacy too. Stacy and Ed, Ed, right? Need to have um, the time and the expertise to move that project along, and that's. That's been a problem, as you know. You've heard us say we're short staff, the town is short staff, we're no different than anybody else, right? Just we've got open positions. And anyway, we, we haven't had yeah. more luck hiring than, than probably you folks at your businesses. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I have written down that I think Stacey will call the project on September 14th as well. And so, um, you know, what I would say is that you got five people here that won't help. So, so we we that, and, but, and I will tell you my in, in my tenure in, in town the squeaky wheel definitely is more apt to get the points and once you always get it but you're more apt to the the issue that we'll be facing will be funding we'll be getting uh, CPC to to want to help us fund us um, they have a lot of projects and right now they're um, they're focused on housing and but is CPC even an option because we missed the December fourth deadline. To keep it on track to what we wanted, or like, is there a is there a mechanism to um, you know? Uh, Correct. Uh, so can, can somebody just tell us what the next steps are on the bottom? So the next steps, I like, met with Pine Lawn last week. We were in the process of drafting a contract that will be run through the county manager's office so we can employ them on their design. Uh, so really, I think to Steve's point, what how can we help? The biggest thing I think right now is just if you want to have that conversation, stay with your friends, stay with your friends, you can have different things, and we can move into this next product. I want this select one to know that we, we have our support. And I think the most important thing is as we design, we'll come back to Park and Rec, share some information, get some feedback. And I think we will be able to accomplish global and different features that we want to. Yeah. We'll, we'll, 
advance those design iterations up until the fall, and then we'll get to be seen next budget cycle for McLeod and maybe in or maybe Claxton as well. Again, whatever community makes sense, the depth of the money at the Claxton doesn't include us as taxpayers. However, we can do talk about improve on a greater confidence or make it better. So I think we could be back at the CPC with both projects next fall, asking for construction funding for both projects for 2023, not 24, but not this summer, but next summer. Uh, so I think as we get closer to those projects and coming to fruition, so having the select board know that we have the support. And I think for the cloud, this is going to be crucial because the cloud is going to trigger not to get people freaked out, it's going to have its own triggers. From the cloud, we have conservation, like wet and perimeters, but finally there. We want lights, which I think we want lights. We have lights there already, but we'll have to go to planning and zoning board of appeals to get those permissions. So there's also processes there that we need to have supporters just to say this means a lot to the community uh, because we will need multiple layers of permission. So I think just knowing that you have, we all are on the same side trying to accomplish the same goals. And as we become closer to milestones, just having a bullet point for everybody to say, hey, here's where we're at, here's our next steps, CPC some support, select board, open meeting support, and eventually try to wrap up design with a consensus. The way I like to do design work is to try to do maybe three iterations of possibilities and then have people get feedback, drill down again, and then put up a, a, a consensus design that we all agree upon and that can be supported by all. Uh, because that's important as we go towards the town meeting. We need to have people all be on the thing, raise their hand and say, we, we were part of the process, we agree with this design, we support it, we want money. So I think right now, temporarily, we need to buy a month to go back to class and to further investigate the current conditions, make sure we're safe. Uh, but I think, Steve, to your point about the long women, just select what paid whoever. Thank you for the meeting. We understand we're kind of pivoting and running two parallel tracks. We like this idea. We think it makes sense from a financial standpoint. However, that looks to them. And we look forward to being part of the group and continuing the discussions. I think there'll be a lot more to come. What's the mechanism for deciding a cloud to become something? Do you guys just have that power? Is there more of that need to happen? It's well, it'll be the design when we go to yeah, design. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, we don't need to, so it's our parcel of land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We make it to a yeah. softball field. We make it to a softball field. You don't have to go to the select board. We don't have to tell the people over here. We're the people. It's, it's <laughs> our mean, parcel. People, there will be people that are upset about this. Certainly. But yes, it is the final decision. Okay, great. That's great. The next one. We probably have to ask our designer. Point that out to our own user group. Mm -hmm. We're co, co board baseball and softball. So I think we're taking a softball at baseball field mm -hmm. and turn a softball. So we have a blind side. To and we're going to talk to Dan Lee because, on board. because yeah, because that, yeah, that field is used for GD. Freshman, freshman, right? So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different players. If baseball, softball can mm -hmm. be supportive, that's going to go a long way. If Dan Lee and athletics can be supportive, that will also go a long way. So, yeah. Okay. And, and feel, in my opinion, feel free to put some pressure on DMV in that department because we really could use some support from them. I wouldn't say they haven't been supportive, but they're not front and center, right? So, so any support you can get, you know, pressure, right? I'm, I'm, this is my observation. I don't know. Keeping up the contract. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyone, so, just follow the timeline. It's very scandal. Uh -huh. I was just making a note that we, I want to figure out what the timeline is and then post it to our website so it's out there. Like schedule, yeah, like a, That's what I would just mean. Critical. So then we can have, have a timeline for, for McLeod and then Fox and then. Yeah, then I'll like all of like the wow. just, just yep. the end sure. point, design, you know, yep. schematic design, whatever. Absolutely. The final date. Yep. Of and then I will work together on that and, and make sure we have time. Yeah. yeah, and all the dates that we have to hit. Just to be clear, that is a year later, and my ask to the committee is to help us find a way to be creative, which may mean not using CPC funds, considering doing a project in two steps, whatever it is, I don't really care, but I want someone to say, you know what, Steve, 
Let's get together in a small group and see if there's any way. Let's bring in the select board. Let's bring Kate. Let's brainstorm. Let's have a meeting. And if you all say, idiot, you don't know what you're talking about. The only way we're going to get this done is through CPC funds. Great. But what I would say is that I still feel that <laughs> being able to accomplish this, if we had to take McLeod off in the fall, Chris, like, mm -hmm. right? Fall of 20. 22. That's not that big of a deal, I don't think. Baseball doesn't use it. No, you're right. It's a, it's right? a use of field. So, so like when you, Ed, when you talk about losing Claxton for a good portion of time, that's a bigger deal because there's a lot of kids that use that field in spring and fall. McLeod, we have three other 90-foot baseball diamonds in town that could be used. And I and I don't want to speak for my user group without talking to them from a baseball perspective, but I get the funding is a problem, but what I guess I'm saying is it's like, let's have a conversation that's more than just Ed outlined the right time. I totally get the timeline, but like that timeline doesn't work for me personally because it's all, like it's already that's another year. It's not like it's like a couple of months, right? It's another season, it's another year, right? And so to me, I personally would love to figure out a way within the next two weeks to get together whoever needs to be in the room to talk about, is there any way to think through? And I know this is hard without design it, so I, I'm, I'm con cognizant of that, but if the Claxton project was gonna be $1.3 million and this project's gonna be maybe less because we got lights already, it's only one field instead of two, maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know what can fit there, Maybe we don't do the lights in the first year. We do the lights in the second year, right? I know, like, it's not ideal, it's not perfect, but getting those girls on a better field with a, with a real fence and a, and a scoreboard and all that stuff, I mean, they play one night game a year, maybe two. And they play more, like, they wouldn't actually game that many people. And I asked him, in the high school, we won't play that much because of the staffing for the physical yeah. nurse, like, the trainers. So they wouldn't play a dramatic amount. Like the lights are important because I do think like senior night is awesome, right? Like if you could do that under the lights, like there's definitely, and then as a town, we'd be foolish not to put the lights into that facility considering there's already electricity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Like it's foolish not to do it. That said, for this program, 85 to 90% of the games on that better field for the 23 season, in my opinion, is a home run. Getting the lights is a grand slam. Good analogy. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad so, it's recorded. So yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so so anyway, is Stacy? Can we could, like? I'm home for another month or so from work. Like I can sneak away easily. Like I will be wherever you need me to be. Like I don't have to go into the office until April. Like the next two weeks, can we get some people together to have a meaningful conversation about what it would take to to get this thing done for the spring of 2020. I can certainly reach out to town management select like board and see if we can schedule a meeting. Okay. Like I'm happy to reach out to them and have that conversation with them and then circle back to the meeting. Yeah. And I, um, I don't know that it can happen in two weeks, but I will I will let them know that that's what you're asking for. Sure. And, and I'm asking almost as a as a citizen to be educated on this process. And again, like, I have a giant mouth that, again, if you ever figured that out. So having me as someone that's an advocate is not the worst thing in the world. You know, I'm involved in every sports program in town. And, you know. I have a meeting with uh, the assistant town manager tomorrow morning. So I'll bring it up to her tomorrow morning and see what we can get done as soon as we can. I mean, we, we appreciate your enthusiasm, we appreciate your support. If you can get it done, we will. We'll yeah, I don't think you think I can do it. I don't know that I can do it. But, but I, I, wanted, I want someone to tell me there's no way for this to happen. Right? And I want someone to say we have to go through the CPC process because there's no better way. But you do recognize that. It's slightly frustrating that we feel like we need to do this. That you guys don't, right? You guys, you guys get that, right? Like that. <laughs> we, again, maybe we, just because you're more tried and tested and know that we definitely get that get piece, but but we process. also so let me just give you our perspective yeah. okay so we appreciate it we we want this project i'm going to say pretty desperately but we also have a 
broader perspective. Sure. We have other things, other fields, other sports, other programs. We have a pool that we look at too. Um, so we have more on our plate, right? Than just this. Not that this isn't yeah. important and this is surface stuff to be, you know, one of the top priorities. But we have other things, and just as we have other things, so doesn't the town. So you can talk to the assistant town manager, the town manager, and and no one's gonna laugh at you, and no one's gonna say you're crazy. But but they're right. They're gonna look at you and say we only have so many resources, and and it, it, some of it's money, but it's not only right. It's also the staffing and the people, and we can hire experts to do this, but we need someone to manage those experts, right? And as great as it is that you guys are volunteering and helping, the town can't rely on, on your efforts alone, right? So the town, right. so, so I think- Like I said earlier about fact, there's all there's ways, right? Right. Have a time money, right? So whether it's hiring an owner's project manager, or it's hiring another, there's always ways, right? So I'd rather you tell me there's no money than there's no people. Person. I'm gonna tell you it's both. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you that it's both. I'm just gonna tell you that we can only, Stacy can only manage so much. Maybe you know, you know, it's a small department. Ed has a small department, right? Mm -hmm. And Ed is the guy. I mean, we had our town engineer, but well, we lost him. That was a huge loss, right? Not just personally and, and for that for me, but for for the town. So uh, our resources are stretched very thin mm -hmm. already. So to think that that this project is going to go to the top of the heap. When there may be some other projects that the town has going on, then you know maybe you know maybe water projects, sewer projects, road projects. Um, and I, just, I, I just want to set your expectations. Asking. Yes, and, and that's I guess what I'm asking for in this process. You know, is that I would love to. And yeah, I mean, I can bring up Marcus and bring up you know Pharrell, you know others, and yeah. just ask myself, right? But I feel like it needs more if. Colleague or someone that they work with says, "Hey, these folks are engaged. They want to help. They're passionate about this. This is, you know, candidly a bit of a black mark on our community that we don't have a facility with girls to play in that's on par with boys." And I think if we approach it that way, to interrupt you, like if if you be are present at select board meetings, if, if you use that to your advantage, because it is kind of a, it, it's an issue. You know, I'm a champion for. We all are for women for girls sports, and I think if you approach it that way, because we certainly have outside this room, I can say that for sure. Um, I think we might have a little chance of being a little more successful there too. Speaking for yeah. yeah, I'm happy to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I hope it's a little awkward for me to feel like I have to be. No, no, no. I know. I know. In, in America, but or in right. America. No, we appreciate that. Actually, thank you. Oh, I mean, you know, I, I, right. I mean, I, I spend a lot of time with, well, with, you know, try, trying to make the situation better for girls in this town. Yeah. For when it comes to athletics, my my daughters are really athletic, and they it's a huge part of their identity and who they are. And I just made them better people, and it's made them better students, and it's made them better teammates and people. Right, and we are appreciative. We are appreciative of that, and you know, Dina, of course, started um, girls in field hockey, right? And she's a coach, so she is quite the advocate. Yeah. I coach's right? daughter. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. You know that, and, and we were behind. Yeah. You know, we're a big supporter of girls on the run and, and programs like that. So, um, I mean, my I definitely in the community have spoken about this, but I think it is it, it's sad, but it is important that. Because the fact is there are baseball fields and just one softball field. We're all champions of, of doing whatever we need to do. It's just our hands are a little bit tied, but we are gonna do what we can. Well, as committee members and chair, I ask you to, you know, send a note. You guys talk to us, you know, your, these are your colleagues, right? This right where your colleagues are, right? So I ask you to, if possible, say, okay, we had a great meeting and we're gonna. We're asking you to support us and help us here because everybody up there who feels like this is important and certainly those of us who are for the Yeah. Well, we thank you. I mean, we, we share your frustration um, and we do appreciate your passion. I just want to think this. Sorry, I'm not as happy as to see my daughter graduate this next year. I'm not as happy as to see my daughter graduate this year. I'm just curious. Like, 
you know, we talked about the cloud being several years out, like what would the plan be for the cloud? Maybe the same exact couple things, but you know, it's still the cloud, it's still very sunny over there. And I bring my top of head and stand up at two o'clock every day they have games, so they have shade. Like, is, is there something that we can do for that? Is there is there I mean it just what else? I know you said when you put it in the cloud, you also put it in the cloud so potentially like what would that be? I mean, if you try to find, if you say you figure it out, you try it. I'm just, I'm curious what she didn't play on, not just this spring, but her senior year. Let me jump in on that one. So, before we can move forward on classing for anything, we are need to get that additional testing to figure out if we need to. <laughs> All those things. Board it up, yeah, sure. So, but you know, hopefully we're a go. And so, what we will do is, um, Put down some concrete slabs to put in dugouts, to put in gene structures, to put the slabs, to put the um, stands on, to add some ADA walkways to get access to the bathrooms, um, all of those things. But it would just be, would be building up as opposed to digging. Not be this year. That would not be this year. Oh. No. Well, I think I do. You were kind of saying maybe part of the. CPC from like I thought that's what you were kind of alluding to that there would be maybe funds in that project for both the cloud and some Claxton upgrades like that. Is that what you were kind of alluding to? Well, I think again, I think timing and, and I'm all we'll see conversation with the town management because there are other options to CPC, but that is up to our town manager attorney. She has a body that she determines what funding tiers, what and what goes where. So it's just we've been fortunate for the past 11 years to have a lot of CPC funds to do a lot of great field projects. Um, but there is, I think, opportunity to have that discussion. I think outside the box because CPC does somewhat limit ourselves to a time frame of approvals and eventually town meeting vote, which complicates them. So I think if this were outside of that process, it could look different. But that would have to be a conversation with Kate. Oh, wait, real quick. Don't we have that? Placeholder right now for CPC funds or flax for design. For design, there's but no construction the, funds. The construction application was pulled out of time, so we moved back there. So we didn't have a concrete plan on uh, cost yeah. estimate to go to CPC then this month to get approvals and then town meeting. So, so you guys did I thought I thought you left it in. I thought you no, well, it was pulled out of town manager. Town meeting was pulled in. Town manager. Before the November? Um, no, no, it was no. not officially in December. No, it's when it ended December. Yeah, second week of mid January. Yeah. So, so I was kind of thinking about it again, pivot, redesign, we come back next year with two projects and build the construction project. Again, I think through the conversation with town manager meeting, just to talk about the fashion where we are and what we can do and what tracks we can take outside that is a good conversation now. I say, here we go, we're in. What do we have for options? And that can't hurt. So I think we all support that. So that means here we go in to start working in summer of 2023. Yes. All right. So what happens here? Right. Right. So nothing. Well, not nothing. Again, we just spent about $20,000 on professionally laid rig. 32 tons of material, which is make it really mean you go up there in the spring, you'd be impressed with the field. Do you have a season? I don't expect it to migrate off site. So, yeah, it should be, it should be a vast thing. Those are plastic water. Both. both. So, just, just to recap, the, the, the 2022 spring season, we have the stuff we did in the fall, you know, we're going to get the new bin, we're going to do the bases and old plates. Is Doug the fence? The fence. Fence. The fence. Fence. Can, can Doug have some sort of covered level built? Like what is like what is the like option A, B, and C? Is there, is there, if you guys have a pricing and, and on an option A that's cheaper and quicker, is, is it something we can do now to get it done? Because we may not need a fancier or expensive dugout in 2023. If we get something that's adequate, do you need a porous lab? Give us a they make three dollars. I'm getting them. Yes, it would be five issues. Is that a usable 
I don't think we can commit. I can't. I can't commit to you on the. I can't, we can't guarantee it. So there are like my brain is spitting up about different options. Yes, you can purchase some that are portable. We'd have to figure out how to anchor them because we can't anchor them into the ground. We'd have to put a slab down. Um, there should be the potential, you know, for a group to build them. And again, they would have to be anchored to a slab, so we still have the slab. Um, so I'm not saying flat out no, but there could be lead times on all of these. I mean, the other stuff we're pretty much committed to, but I can't commit to on the other. And still, with that, that's all saying that the upcoming that. testing is good. And then we can actually still play that. Right. 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 That's so, right. so just real quick, if not, as well, don't want to. Don't, like what's happening when you're talking worst case scenario, it does come back and we can't play there. Yeah. What happens to the softball? Yeah, we have the field at Memorial, yeah. Memorial. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I believe, yep, Turf Field at Memorial. I, oh, I've been ball. told we Upper Broadmeadows, you play a ball, I would play a baller. Yeah, and, uh, and you also have Upper Broad Meadow is just over the light that you need by like about two feet. Yeah. Then you need 200, I think it's at one part, it's like 201 or something like that. You play. So, yeah, so we would we do have options. So there are options. I've been thinking about that just oh, that we okay. do have worse cases. I mean, our goal is to have, uh, if no. you know, that these girls are going to play and we'll find a place. And yeah. we have options. They're not ideal, but, yeah. but yeah, I'm, I wasn't, I just couldn't remember. Does it do that? Yeah. Well, they got to get the test. Well, well, once you get the test results back, which we're hoping the ground has to fall on. Yeah. yeah, at the end of March, but middle, we're hoping middle to end of March. Depending on the weather, if we get a good warm snap and we can get six, the shovel six inches of the ground, then we'll come up and do that. So there's a chance. So well, the first thing we're saying is there's a chance they don't play. Correct. If there's always bad. a chance, depending on the snow, anyway. Right. But <laughs> that's I mean, a lot easier for people to understand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so we need new salaries. We get it. Um, so I have to wrap this up. I mean, yeah. Um, we have listened to you. We, we definitely start. have heard you, um, and you know we'll continue to listen. You know, you know where we are. Obviously, um, you're welcome to continue to contact us. We will get back to you. We will reach out to you when we have anything. Um, when do we think we can get a platform schedule for the platform? I will ask time to talk to the live next one of the person. Yes, I just know last week we drafted a contract, so you know, so get sure of us. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate you coming in. I mean, you're welcome to stay for the rest of our meeting, but um, thank you. You're welcome to report for us. <laughs> thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. All right. We're a music. We're a music. We're a music.
And we're back. All right, let us go back into order after our five minute break. And back on our agenda, we are at um, the director's report, which was in our packages. Stacy, would you like to go through that? Yes. Okay, did you want to share with me first? I'll do it again. It's really not much of an update, so I can do it. So winter programming and our events are pretty much coming to an end. Uh, we did have our snowy days program, also known as February vacation program. All of our offerings for February vacation were ran, and most of them were close to full. Our program was certainly full. Um, everybody had a great week, and all programs except for martial arts were canceled on Friday. Because the spring program is now available oh. online. Registration began this morning <laughs> at 9 a.m. Um, and so we're planning to continue to uh, at a steady pace and school and summer program registration will be on March 30th. We get that question 17 times a day. And that is it. Our spring events. In the past, we have touched the trucks, we have fishing derby, and we have Earth Day cleanup. We are putting them all in one giant weekend. It's going to be great. Chris is going to be Love leading it. the charge at all of the, he just volunteered. Love uh, it. We're looking for a great title. If anybody has a great title for those three events. And no, we're not calling it Spring Fest. Wait, it's say it again, it's trad, cleanup, and what are the other two? Fishing derby, touch the truck, and touch town light cleanup. Yep. And, and then we'll all be down at the Fazio and the uh, Reservoir. I can help um, the, the trash in the town by cleanup. You're it. All right, ice safety. Don't can I say something about this actually? So, Dina, the more um, publicity you can get out there, the more, you know, sports groups, kids, mm -hmm. scouts, all yeah. that. Yeah, yes. And for those of you on Facebook, um, our marketing guru has left us. Oh. And so I have been posting on Facebook as much as possible. I was like, wait, but I was like, wait, see but have you seen the BBW page? I'm just but, saying. Okay. <laughs> so, no. This means important. Anyway, whenever if, if you follow us, share, share your pages, share your yes, family please. pages. Oh, I love it. Yes. I've tried to join every elementary PTO people. Anything you can do, just share, 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 share. share. Okay. Um, and, and we try to do that as, as often as possible, but all the help we can get. Please and thank you. Eye safety. It's not, so don't go swimming. Full. Uh, I, I will be surprised if we get back out on the ice, although, you know, New England has proved us wrong before. CPC updates. No new updates on tennis courts. Um, and the boat launch was supposed to go in front of Hong Kong, but it was pushed out to the March 10th meeting. Can and I'll continue to update you. Can um, you tell us why that was pushed? Was there any? It was requested reason? by the town. The town Okay, so. And, huh? The town attorney. I didn't hear that. And why, was, why did the attorney request to push it? Was there some problem? Is no. there anything wrong with that? I don't know if I got the allegation. No, no. I, I didn't know until I got on the meeting that we weren't. So I didn't. Um, and when does CPC take their vote? 30 March. Storage units at the Fazio. Our good friend, oh, we left. Same thing here, same here. So that's good. She left. Uh, Exactly. Bob Lewis was in the um, yeah. oh, Bob Lewis was audience, but I turned off his camera because he wasn't there. Um, anyway, so they're in the packet. There are some storage unit prices. We just need to decide what size. We just need to decide where. Um, so can you can you go through it with us and tell us? Hey, Chris, you have a question. So no, no, I think it's the same question you're going to ask, but I'm going to defer to you first, please. So what, okay, thank you. What would be the, what's the process to, do we own it? Do we lease it to these groups? Do the groups lease it? Do the groups pay us? Do, what, how's the, how's it set up? How, would, how do you envision it being set up? Okay. 
I envision it very differently than I thought. I thought we would make them, there's liability concern, there's liability and insurance. I think the best plan is for DPW or perhaps the user groups to help level the land or pay for the contractors to level the land. DPW would lay in the cement slabs um, and whatever ramps to get into these things. We would put them there permanently and then we would figure out how to rent them out or let certain groups use them. And this is in the, that spot in the parking lot, right? Yep. They... And if you look at, I'm going to pull it up. So the, here it is. Oh, it's fine. So no, they no, used not. Christie's drawing as an example, but if you look at the screen uh, right here, you see my purple mouse. I know, I'm stuck in So the big existing storage trailer, which I believe is tracks, correct? Yeah. And then there would be either four or five as an offshoot off of that. That would, so our town engineer, one of our town engineers or assistant town engineers drew this for us. Okay. Um, so this basically um, has the least impact to parking and more importantly, DPW's need. Sure. It, it has those listed as 20 footers, but it doesn't, from judging from the size of the squares, it doesn't look like those 20 feet storages because that one behind it is a 20 footer, correct? Or not? The one behind it is a 40 foot. Yeah, that's oh. all. Yeah. So, because okay. I asked so, Bob the same thing, because I was like, we want 10 birds. He's like, you can't put any of those. Those oh, are basically so, Okay, damn. All the ones I got were. So, so we're looking at. Like, so, like okay. so, the it. ones we would be adding are 20 feet. The part one that is there is 40 feet. So, and that one would stay. That would stay. And is that giving it enough space to move it? Because we have to. Hmm? The existing one, if that, that one needed to be taken away and replaced, mm -hmm. is there enough space for something to come? Yes. Absorbed. Why? No. So okay. people, they would access it here. Yep. And then the other ones they would access here. So the access is, is the front. Like, They'd be all front, front access, access ones. Okay. If, if, how does that compare to the size, for example, of the front club that's in the mission? So Trap club has a 40 foot or 40 yeah, which, is the, which is the ABC one. Yep. Okay, so and that is, and I would not imagine that most of these groups would be like the same amount of space. No, I think no, that's what you So you need it, but you, you're, you're yeah, but like stuff. half of that is like this very like generous yes. size unit that you could. Well, and, and fit after talking to Bob, uh, basically people, like nets and yep. stuff that you yeah. fit. The thing with bigger, because I asked Bob, like, well, why would you go 40? He said, pretty much after 20 feet, it's dark and cold no, back there. You can't cold. see anything, no, and nobody ever goes back there. So once it goes back there, it never comes back. You would never get that space. So there's, there's no outside. electricity. There's, there's no electricity no in any, any of it. Okay. So we just right. storage. And so your vision is we. The town leases these and then the groups pay us. What, what do you That is what I envision. I would obviously talk to Dave Davidson about insurance and liability and see yeah. what we have to do there. Yeah. Um, looking at the quotes, these um, we wouldn't just purchase outright and not necessarily lease. So that 7300 is to buy them? Yeah. All five. Wow. Due to the snow. Oh, we've, we've had to replace the track one. So but they, after like 10 years. Did they do the what? They erode. They rust out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, I mean, there are benefits to leasing and rent true. But I, I think the cost of leasing, yeah, considering, because I asked Bob the same thing. Yes. So these are $7,300 each. No. No. Oh. It says amount per unit. Five. Five. Amount per unit. It says per amount per unit. Right. Right. On yeah, that. Exactly. right? So wouldn't that lead you to believe 7,300 each? Uh, it's a quantity five. Um, I don't know. Yeah, right. But then look at that. Look at the top of that column here. It says per unit. Yeah. So you're looking at 30. Be four to just under 1,500 each if they were divided, but. Yeah. So the only the reason no well, the reason why I think it's under is because of this right here. Here's the quote for five. The quote is under ten. No need to bid. You get these letter quotes. Cool. Oh. So it is total. Oh. 
Okay. I, I mean, I'll double check because it's not what that is for, so that, that bid, you know, that is a full document. Mm -hmm. Very wise. Thank you. <laughs> and I just assumed that it was when I read it, when I read it back, I'm like, oh, it might be a typo there. It may not be a typo. Who orders by it? I do have a question. So if a user group stores stuff in there, whether it's leased or purchased, what kind of, who, let's say they're broken into, who holds the insurance? That's what we, I mean, that's what we do. Okay. If right. we purchase it, we own it, we own the insurance. Right. So it's covered by tax insurance. Okay. Um, but that will, will determine how we allow user groups to use them, rent them, et cetera. Yeah. 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 I think having control over that is yeah. important. Well, that's because if something happens in the station, we can make sure that it gets taken care of. Yeah. And also, if they ever need to be moved, that if they're all one same company, we have control. Well, no, we don't have to wait for other user groups. To and get this things. is the company that did the user no, no. Uh, and tell me again, who's going to do the, uh, the put down the cement pad or a, so DPW? Level? So Bob said DPW could arrange to lay down the cement pad. Ideally, we would get any user groups or a volunteer group to level the area because it's just all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And your plan is to have these for spring? For spring? I mean, if that's what you want. I'm also happy to say this can't be a focus right now, but it, I mean, it seems like the user groups are looking and are interested for this. Um, I think if we can do it, it would be helpful for the groups. If you're asking me if this is a priority over other things, I guess I'd have to do what other things, you know, I mean, I'd leave it up to you to come up with a priority, but I think that this would be helpful to the groups, and if we can help them, we should. So I just don't know how much time it will take. So, um, and I'm one commissioner. It shouldn't do you much time, and I think if we are considering offering storage space over at Claxton, then there's no reason to not to. To offer it here, we just have to be prepared that if all of a sudden we have a cricket team, a frisbee team, or this team, and they all want storage space, we may have to divide it up or get more spaces. I think we need to define criteria for a lot right. of right where is it size of size of program, program size, size of equipment, equipment. right? right. Frisbee, there's no reason, right? No, but but I think <laughs> it's also <laughs> size, <laughs> size of equipment. Track over me to see very large, right. but their equipment, right? Right, right. versus right. soccer, right. who we're never going to get the full event, so let's not spend that. Gonna happen. <laughs> but there's thousands of kids, but not that much equipment, so yeah. right. I think it's up as far as determining the policy because even if you do determine, you base it off the size of the equipment, okay, look, we have seven. A sports with large equipment that have you determined who gets it. Right. I mean, spot. for the moment, yes, we're fine with this mm -hmm. map. We just have to be prepared to revisit it, which we can do. Right. It's going to say it. So it's, no, a, it's a pilot not. program, and it, it mm -hmm. may, you know, trial and error, right, will come up with, I mean, there'll be things we don't think about that, that are going to become obvious and we need to address them. So, yep. uh, right. And, and maybe it is, you know, those sports that are in, if you're a new sport that comes along and you can't do something for you right now, I think we get down the road and use it. Okay. All right, yeah, so what's the, the next step? Do you need anything from us, Stacey? Do you need a. Uh, are you comfortable with this going for me to move forward with it? Yes. Sorry. I am. Yeah, I am. Okay. Um, Dina, sure, are you? I guess you would. Do you want Yes. Okay, that's the end of my director's report. I just have one thing that's related, but we, this could be an agenda item for another okay. another meeting, but is around parking and discussing how we think that these what do we call them? barriers, the barriers, the barriers. Because I'm just thinking about trying to protect the entrance to the park to the these units. We're gonna have to provide some sort of barrier so that someone doesn't park right against the door. Yep. Um, and that could be a broader conversation about how we the parking situation is going in the Right. This is great. Not great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
the but yes, traffic pattern. We would and, have to do some barriers. And if we do something with McLeod, does it affect us? Yeah. Okay. So down the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's a very efficient question. Right. The whole parking is for that. All right. Any other questions for the director on the report? No, but that's a really good quote. Good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm not that's why the that's why the reason we're going to be able to force. All right. Nice job, Stacey. All right. Uh let's see. So the next, yeah. So the um, original fees in the packet were raw made from springs. So bad. I looked at those and said, huh, why are you talking about these? But and so and on the new ones I sent you, you're gonna ignore page two because that's the graph delete the bottom. Those are pulled from way back. Car wash, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So really we're just focused on tennis membership so we can get them up and into the system because registration started today. Um, the ports are obviously not open, so it's not a huge deal, but I would like to get these up as soon as possible. Okay, so did all the commissioners see the um, the newer the amended the amended the yeah. They're on the screen behind you. So them. Um, I asked so, Kristen to pull the fees, or I asked Kristen if she knew when the last time we changed the fees. Um, she said before her. So from 2013 until last year, the tenants membership fees were the same. Wow. And considering how much work needs to be done on wow. said tennis fees, on tennis courts, I thought now would be a great time to bump them up a little. Yeah. Um, I this is my very conservative because I think it, but I think we have to be incremental and we can't just say all of a sudden it went from 45 to 100 hours. I think if we need to move towards more money, but we have to be incremental and reasonable. I think those are extremely reasonable. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's a, almost like a cost of living expense where yeah. things go up. I mean, you're not jumping the curve, as you said, we're not doubling it. I think those are well within reason yeah. of a big, small, slight increase to go to benefit the use of the, of the courts. Uh, is anyone going to be a pick up or pick up ball? Any of those courts going to pick up ball? Because if, if they're sharing a pick up ball, of course they are. But we're increasing the fee and reducing the third. Right, right. Increasing in the amount of time. Right. Is that we could, but increasing because we haven't increased it in so long. Right. So it is kind of like ball, sense, kind of cost of living at this point. If right. we had put exactly. in pickleball last year, Fort Lions last year, we wouldn't have jumped the fees. Like it's been eight years. I mean, I'm happy to increase the fees because I love so, the revenue. But and um, I think I'm just preparing you in case you're pretty much I think yeah, fees are, more money fees and are no fees. Pickleball. We're going to get a lot of pushback from pickleball, yeah. or we're not going to get any, and then we're going to get push back from pickleball to end. So I think, and, and this year I don't recommend charging for pickleball, but I think in subsequent years, it's going to be a court membership and not a tennis membership. I, agree. Yeah. I also think eventually we should go to uh, key locks, like fobbed entrance to the tennis so that you have to like swipe your badge to get in. Really? Ooh, yeah. yeah. And we have record of everybody. Well, then you have a record who goes in. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't stop people from popping the doors. Like I understand that, but yeah. it does mean it does better. control. And if we yeah. we can see what kind of usage is going. I mean, if we see that one person went in on Saturday morning and nobody else went to the court, there's a good chance the door was dropped. Mm -hmm. yeah. My only suggestion is maybe bump the senior up, maybe another five dollars, just because it was a senior. Oh, no, But they don't buy membership. They, don't buy they just membership. go use them. Okay. okay. All right. I think we. I think as a commission, I would like to have a broader conversation about non-residents 
in general, mm -hmm. attending programs, registration, fees, all that, but that is not. Are you feeling that Congress needs to take advantage or are you feeling that we don't open it up enough to Congress? Um, I feel like we should charge an extra fee and open it up much sooner than one week before the program. Yeah. Because I feel like we could, we should be canceling a program one week yeah. out if we don't have enough people. We shouldn't be waiting and then seeing if non residents will fill it up. Typically, it's a year yes. to advantage for residents if you're going to do that type of advantage. Right. Okay. Or even like a week later. I mean, I think yeah. this goes back yeah. to years back when our programs filled up and people yeah. lined up on the sidewalk around yeah. town. Right. And I think that is just different here. Yeah. We don't have that many programs that fill the capacity anymore. Yeah. So I think okay. we can. But yeah. anyway, for now. That's okay. A good question. Um, I agree. I think these fees should go up, but I take it that we did the research. Like, how are we in regards to other towns that surround us? Are we within that Business. region? What? Business. So we're still even raising it, we're still lower than everybody else. That's a very low piece. Okay. Yeah. Smart. I, mean, I can tell you that in Lincoln, which is a fairly affluent town that has play courts and only six or double those things. Wow. Okay then. Play courts are good though, aren't they? But they're phenomenal. Yes. Right. You don't have to talk to me too. But yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, yeah. so you so would you like uh, a, a motion to accept the tennis uh, badge tennis memberships? We have a motion to accept these fees. If, uh, Commissioner, I have a motion to accept these fees. To accept the fees. I will second that. Yeah. Great. Thank you. All right, I have to do a roll call. So come to the vote. All those in favor, um, we shout aye. Chris, aye. Dina. Aye. And the chair is also an aye, so it passes unanimously. Thank you. Okay, and then on the second page, did you say? No, ignore, no, no. ignore the entire second page. Yes, please. Perfect. Okay. That's it for fees. Okay. Next, capital projects. These are placeholders, capital projects, CPC. Um, so in your packet is our capital projects spreadsheet, as well as our asset planning document. Yeah. Um, if anybody has any questions, I can pull it up. I think we need to have, again, a deeper dive, especially on the asset planning. This is something that Kristen and I did. Um, this is based off of Nancy's playground report and our current projects and where we think we need to move. But it does not take into consideration that every single facility we have. Any questions from the commissioners? All right. Um, CPC, we heard from the director, Chris um, Bertel, or anything that you wanted to add? So Just a quick little update. Um, we're getting to the vote coming up at the end of the month that one of our CPC members did a five year projection that if we were to fund every project that we have on this docket this year, plus the subsequent years that come after because of certain projects, by I think year four, we would be out of funds. For CPC, like if if you to take say a certain project funded this year, and then phase two comes the next year, and then phase three comes that that third year, CPC would be out of money by the third or fourth year. And that's with accounting for new money. And that's accounting for new money coming in, the debt services that we have, with town hall, with what's very cool. That it's just it, it's a big ask. Which now, mind you, I'm looking at it as it's very great that we do projects and we're able to do certain things like that. But how big of an embarrassment would that be in year four that we wouldn't be able to fund any project through CPC because of everything we've done in the past? Like I would say from the numbers that we're looking at, there might be a two-year hiatus for any CPC project to be done. Now, mind you, we're still factoring in the projects that we have on our docket right now, the tennis courts, the cloud class, you know, slash class, and those have all already been kind of put in. But anything that we had really on the three-year or four-year bubble for us. If the town meeting approves and the money goes the way it is, we could be out of money in, in year four for CBC. Still being able to pay for the projects that we did, 
So uh, the chairman of the CPC asked us to kind of look out of the five years of what can we hold off on? What is almost like a must have or may have? Like if you have to do a project. You know, yeah, prior to this. So, um, which is, it's good that we're looking at it now. So we're not coming up two years from now being like, hey, how do we run out of money? But it's one of those things that it's, it, it's getting tight that we're in the area that we have so many good projects that are out there and just not enough money to cover. I mean, I would say that money is there like, to be spent. Exactly. And that, that's why we voted CPCS. We voted to tax ourselves whenever we did that 10 years, more than 10 years ago, I believe. So it is there to be spent. So when you say we're out of money, I mean, there'll be new money coming in, but it is there to be spent. And let's mm -hmm. be honest, we wouldn't have gotten two thirds of what we've gotten done in recreation if we hadn't had CPC, right? We, would, right? we just were never going to get priority over schools and police and fire and right and some of the DPW infrastructure. That's just a fact of life. So I mean I don't know that it's embarrassing that it gets tight, but but I understand they should be looking at that. I think the committee does need to look at that and, and be cognizant of that and um, be judicious in how they spend that money. But it, it is there to be spent. It doesn't mm -hmm. trouble and we did know you know they knew when they approved voted to fund um, town hall and um, Rosemary Pool and whatever that that's a debt service that they were going to have to cover for a number of years. So, um, but it's good for us to know that, Chris. So thank you that 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 money is you know not going to be as um, available most likely to us. Right, and that's as it. it has been. Now again, that's going on the town. You know, system manager Dave Davidson of lowballing how much money is coming in every year. He gets very concerned that right. of how much money he's always lowballing. There always there's always been more coming in, but there's going to be a certain time where. Where he's lowballing it and it comes in just at that, if not even lower. Right. So right. And and then maybe these projects will then have to stack up against everything, mm -hmm. the other projects, and maybe get funded by the lake. Right? Exactly. So yeah. Right. I mean it's very hard, like you know, the projects that are eligible to do it, they're all deemed, you know, eligible because of the parameters that they that they're set. It's very hard to say who's more important than others. I mean, we can look at housing and be like, yes, community housing is a very important thing in the town. Well, we can look at also Department of Rec for instance, cricket field. We don't have cricket field, we don't have a program. We don't have a program, we don't have income for certain things where we kind of you know rely on the income that we bring in from our programs and so on other programs and fund other programs. When we don't have that, we can't do more than we do. Well, it'll be interesting to see that. Will they present that that financial model? Do you think we'll I mean clearly they've talked about it at the public meeting? They will probably be at the public meeting. I know for a fact it will definitely be when they meet the finance committee the next yeah. year or so. So, I mean, the five year projection is definitely going to be out there. And uh, I can't wait to see the finance committee come back with the feedback. Right, right. That'd be very interesting. Yeah. So, that, when that's available, we'd love to mm -hmm. uh, be able to see it. Um, the, the scenario is not there. There is not there. And then we uh, engage next Monday. And then the so we used to get a bigger match and now we get a whole match. Yeah. We actually received quite a large match this coming year um, because they made changes as a legislature to uh, basically allow for the money to be allocated to CPC. Um, and so we did get a hefty amount, but all of the projections oh, the very base base. Right. Base. So, it's so, very very good. Good. Um, so it's Possible will be fine, but it's also possible that it's a lot of money for you. And it's also more, I think there's more projects being asked of CPC, right? I mean, housing is this can be forward and some pretty ambitious plans. Mm -hmm. uh, and so yeah. there's just more asked. Right. There's just more asked for that. Yeah. Right. And one of the one of the things that's highlighted last week was um, that urban recreation's projects come out of the general rate where housing and open. 
open space, which uh, which can but doesn't always cover uh, recreational projects and uh, historic have segregated monies. They have their own budgets that are mm -hmm. that are aside from. And then last year they increased the how the uh, housing bucket to twenty two percent double up. You know, get that really. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's just a, it's a matter of timing where, you know, rec is always, you know, one project at a time. Housing is coming with four significant ones this year and potentially four to five um, in the next two, three years. And that's great. It's great that they're coming, but it's like, you know, right, it's, big, it's not one. It's not like it's a big ass. one and right. one and a few years of projects. It's, Eight projects in three years. So it's like it's all good. It's all good. So it is a difficult time. Rarely a project that is crazy, right? You know, almost always worthwhile. It's just a question of where it comes. But you can tune in on Wednesday and uh, join. Okay. <laughs> I'll be so hosting. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Um, Okay, hey, grass facilities in the last Tuesday. Oh, okay. And scholarships. Oh, the pump back one. Okay. Do you have, um, I'm going to ask you this other time. Do you, do you have the number and amount of scholarships that we did last year? Is that available anywhere? We did used to look at that. Remember that, Christina? Right, we used to look at the number of scholarships and then we would quantify it to some degree. Um, so the answer is maybe, maybe okay. because it's in the old system. Yeah. Uh, we ran every report we could possibly think of, so there's a chance that we have those numbers. Okay. Um, it's it's interesting to look at and, mm -hmm. and to think about it and, and compare it and, uh, and to quantify it, even though it's not, you know, just because we gave a scholarship doesn't mean it cost us that amount of money. Sometimes maybe it did cost us a spot, but right. maybe it was already an open spot. So, right. but it's, it's about good. The money with the Right, right. But it, it's not a bad thing for us to be able to say we gave that summer of scholarships mm -hmm. and they were worth this amount of money because uh, depending on how you look at it, but from my point of view, it's a good thing we did for the community. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's what we should hear after the after senior year if we want to go by program price and not necessarily. But I am very interested in even just the number of slots, number or spots, number of spots we gave on scholarships for programs, for pool, mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. So hopefully we have some lessons because we want to be the different ones. Yeah. Okay. And do you think if you could if you could find that without too much anxiety, that would be great. Yes. Um, well, it's not a make work project, but I do know we used to look at that. And, yeah. No, we should. And I I, I want to bring up the scholarship program in general because I think we could do better for the community, um, especially in the summer. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, actually, special event approvals. So Christian was kind enough to send us additional information. Right. So we had a what's that called a summary. Um, Couldn't handle the change in the spreadsheet, Cindy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys have a heads up, I did that to save us a lot of paper. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same information just put into right. No, I, I, I appreciate I appreciate reading that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say in the interest of time, there's actually not that many, and we're ahead of you. But I was gonna say none of these are until April. It's the earliest one, but please. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got some now if you guys don't want to. So let's get through what we can. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not, nine, it's not nine, 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 so let's get through. I would prefer if we did not. Yeah, if you would indulge us. So, um, first one is the what I would call the Little League opening day, right? Big deal. Mm -hmm. Lots of kids. Um, they do the parade. Mm -hmm. This is the parade, right? In the fire truck. Yeah. And, the whole, it was, I mean, that was such a big deal when my son played for the league all those years. Free hot dogs, right? Oh, yeah, free hot dogs. Abbott's Custer's would be there. Oh, it's going to be. 
Yeah. Any celebrities? No, uh, actually, yes, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I can't say that anything's being reported, but pretty good get this year. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, good to know. Okay, maybe you can tell me offline. Okay, yes. let's vote. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, no, this is a big deal, Stacey. They shut down the river for the parade. I know, I used to come when I was a kid. Yeah, a oh, big gift. Um, I noticed that they're asking for a starting at 8 a.m. again, which I would not push back on. Would 9 9.30? Until to the to there's then no issues with them using the parking lot or the track, which is not considered any field day. <laughs> Don't need them to be used as a track. track. No, the setup starts at 10. The event starts at 10. That just is correct. Day. They are asking for access to all, they want the permit for all yes. the patio, and I strongly disagree that yeah. they need it. I'm fine personally. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think the permit got a little overzealous. So no, I'm for everything. So. Both these <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Like um, out of this one. So I do recall that it was a problem one year, and it was um, it didn't need to be a problem. You may recall that too, Chris. I do. Yes, do. yes, you were there. So um, yeah. So I don't think that that's an unreasonable request um, to move that time if that would work for. Soccer and soccer and baseball that generally have those 
they'll just get relocated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and they'll see no charge. Mm -hmm. no. Um, any questions from the commissioners? Do they have a motion? We'll make a motion to approve the American Cancer Society request for the relay for life on Saturday, May 21st, and Sunday, May 22nd of this year. 2022. I will second it. Thank you. Any further discussion? Under the vote, uh, through the roll call, Michelle? Aye. Chris? Aye. Dina? Aye. The chair is also a nine, passes unanimously. Thank you. Uh, ooh, my favorite, my favorite holiday of the year, my son would say. Not Christmas, but Fourth of July. Um, I don't think we usually approve this, so I'm happy to see this come here. Uh, Exchange Club, requesting use of Memorial Park to host Fourth of July, Thursday through Tuesday. Um, fingers crossed for fireworks issue. Um, any questions? Do I have to recuse myself from this? Do. I do. All right, well, like, I, will take... I will turn this over to the, uh, the vice chair. All right, so can I get a motion for the Exchange Club of Needham request? A motion. So heard, do I hear a second? Second. A second. All right, I'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Dina Hannigan? Aye. Uh, Michelle Geddes? Aye. The vice chair is also an aye, and to approve. And I abstain. We have one abstention. Okay. And it is approved. Thank you. Um, Super East Baseball. I um, very so what is this? Um, this needs to be punted because this is. Oh, it's a whole other discussion. Oh, this is. <laughs> First of all, I think it's a for profit group. Um, yep. It does come to you. I still put it in front of you. Okay. But it's a for profit group. We'll just tell you that right out of the gate so that you can decide. Um, it's, this is just a slew of 12 questions popped up once I saw this. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. there's no affiliation to anything in Needham. Nobody. Everybody I talked to had no idea who these people were. Yep. So, all right. Let me just put that out there. You can so vote as you wish. Would you suggest we vote on this, or do we need to get more information, or are you recommend? Because you know we take the staff recommendation very, very I recommend seriously. That you do not approve this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Full profit. Okay. okay. And do we need to even vote that? Can we just we do. We, we do need to vote that. All right, so I would ask for a motion. I will make a motion to deny this request by Super East Baseball for Saturday, July 23rd and Sunday, July 23rd. I will second that. All right, and all right, there is no further discussion. We'll come to the vote. Uh, Michelle? Aye. Uh, Chris? Aye. Dina? Aye. And the chair is also an aye, so that motion is, uh, that kind of is denied. Uh, September? Your memory. Um, How many years has this been going on? Yeah, just been some time. Right? It's always been that. Yeah, it's it's one. It's yeah. Mitchell. I don't know at Mitchell, but um, that's been going on since yeah, twenty. It's over five years. Yeah. And uh, you don't see that this will conflict with anything. I mean, I love when people put things in early, but sometimes it's so early. But no, okay. It's that we've, you know, we've done it, we've made it work. Yeah. All the groups that Mitchell is not a highly used field, right. especially in the fall. Yeah. Um, but if it is being used, we'll just reroute whatever you need to do. Okay. Um, I, then I would entertain a motion. Motion to approve the Jogger Memory 5K. I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion? Here we now we come to the vote. Michelle? Uh, Chris? Aye. Dina? Aye. The chair is also an aye. Passes unanimously. That is it. Is that correct? Then I get the special vote. All right. Now we have some minutes. And it looks like there was a set of minutes that couldn't be approved last time. Yeah. Correct. Right. 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 Okay. So first we will come to the minutes of January 24th. It says 2021. Is that it? For all 2022, right? So hard to find it. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no. No, no, no. You keep it. All right. So um, so we have already the minutes of January 24th, 2022. Yes. Um 
Anyone have any comments, questions, corrections? Hearing none. Um, so, Dina, you weren't here, so you. I was here. here. I'm sorry, the January 24th? No. No, you were not. No, the January 24th. Right. Oh, right. So, my January 24th. All right. So, um, it's only three of us. Can I have a motion to approve? Make a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting of January 24th, 2022. Thank you. <laughs> Second. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, aye. Chris? Aye. The chair is also an aye. It passes unanimously. Thank you. And then we have the minutes of February 14, 2022. That's perfect. Yay. Uh, I was not present, so I can't vote, but I can certainly call for the vote. Um, are there any uh, comments, questions, corrections on those minutes? I, I don't have a question on the minutes, but I have a follow up question on the garden meeting. Okay, yeah. so why don't we get into this okay. and then, like, then I'll, All right. I'll go to that. All right, so um, I have a motion to approve the February 14th. I'll have a motion to approve the minutes of February 14th. I will second that. Terrific. So uh, if there's no further discussion, we come to the vote. Uh, Michelle? Aye. Chris? Aye. Dina? Aye. Uh, the chair of state, is that what's in here? So it passes unanimously. Um, Thank you. That brings us to the end. And then, um, you know, what's going on with the bird lady? So uh, fascinated. So, the, the, so you know what we're at? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Do I want to hear this? Oh, no, no, no. It's uh, fine. It's fine. She's going to put, she's gonna put her bird feeder up at Reeds um, until construction is done. And then once we talk to them, she's going to put it back at the comments. It's not to be voted on. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Right. So she. Miles and I had to re explain the entire. Oh, God. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so because of the yeah, construction yeah. of the commons, she's going to go green because that? of our jurisdiction, we can say yes. Got it. Okay. When it goes back to the town hall, mm -hmm. then the select board has to so, approve it right. with our support. Mm -hmm. Great. So, likely in the fall, if not a little bit later. Yeah. Well, a very big thank you to you, baby, and no to you, Dina, for handling <laughs> this and not making the rest. <laughs> thank you so much. I can't tell you how much we thank you for that. You're welcome. I learned a lot about words. I'm sure you did. <laughs> That's great. Uh, okay, so we are done. Topics, yes. Topics for future meetings. Um, I would add um, Stacy parking at the I have parking at the I have scholarships, and just so you know, Mark Niskin is scheduled to be with us on the 14th. Oh. On the 28th, uh, Harris from DBW will be meeting with us um, to discuss our priority, which does flow right into our CPC request for our project priority. So we'll give you a little more information before that meeting, but I just want to let you know the 14th is Mark Miskin and the 28th is yes. Harris. Oh, okay, terrific. Okay. Um, so the 28th is also the League of Women Voters Candidates Night. Um, and Michelle and I are both candidates this year for Park and Recreation. We're running on a polls, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, I emailed back to them and said I'd be happy to put something in the bag, but I couldn't make a meeting because we had this meeting. So I thought if you and I won't go, right. you <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not. It's a Zoom. Oh, it's a Zoom. I think that's what it is. So, so that's it. Um, Anyone have any other topics for future meetings? I, I still wanted to, I know we always have playgrounds in there, but I just don't feel like it's really reviewed and reprioritized. We touched on it, but we haven't gotten into like, what are we doing? How are we prioritize them? What pieces are we doing? Like, yeah. So, yeah. so, so we're going to give us a plan, right? Like, yeah. So we would go so that. Added, so the so when we and so I did look at it. Yeah. So we it. prioritize what should uh, what we think ideally is a first collapse situation. Okay. My thought was the commission would look at it, make some suggestions, move some around, see if you see what you wanted to do with that. We can uh, pull together. We can set aside twenty minutes specifically for that at the next commission meeting. The next one looks light, the 28th looks less light, but either so why way. don't we do that? Why don't we do that at our next meeting? Yeah, because I, I agree with you that uh, that should be a 
priority for us. And I also feel there's discussions around the top lot, as I said, but it is saying that we're not actually not going to do work on it. And work, like, I just think we need to get out these broader yep. conversations, like talk through them, understand where they fall. Well, and when, when and the top lot- the scope of the project. It's right, and when the phase of taught lot, if it if we are going to switch it out, I think in lieu of class, we have to have a real timeline so that the public can expect because that's going to take planning, zoning, compound, because of the wetlands, there's all the there's going to be all different things that didn't have to deal with last time. Um, and then if Claxton is depending on the soils, if Claxton is the other project, the same thing, I think. The more timelines you can get out post on our website to the public, then we can refer back and say this and we can update it as needed. I think that makes our transparency much more clear. So I agree. Okay. All right, next time we'll put that down and maybe we can send a reminder to the commission to make the list. And if you have some thoughts, um, just want to bring up well, moving things around or reprioritizing. Well, I think we sent, did you send the Excel sheet to my computer? Yes. Uh, wait, okay. Please. Being able to sort it, it's really difficult. Oh, right now we it's sent sorted it by a key category. Yeah. I'll send it as an Excel. Right. It's yeah. hard to say. Yeah. Well, that's why but I more. emailed it as a, as a PDF. It's in the packet of the PDF. Yeah. But I when I emailed the update Initial. on Friday, oh, it's an Excel. Yeah. 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 I've been attaching both the CIP and the after planning um, as Excel spreadsheets, I think, in the update on Friday. So that it's always. Easy to find because I've got I lose things in the email. Anything else? Um, then I just have one thing which was um, I was going to mention my chair's update, it's not even an update, but um, I'm sure we know. I'm just going to point out that we have a commissioner who has had some publicity lately. Oh, and yes. it is oh, fabulous, yes. right? Uh, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, um, you. And, and it's not the publicity is so great, but what you have done is so great Thank to reach you. out to that family or, or respond to their reaching out and to get those high school seniors, juniors, whatever they are involved. Um, and to see that story was tragic. I was in Florida and I was able to watch. I know a couple that. people were watch it from Florida. Yeah, because like, the link was there. And I, yeah. know, I was like, oh, I'm going to miss the town class. But anyway, so I wanted to just point yeah. that out. Yeah. And, so it's been awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. amazing. Yeah. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. that you do that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, that happened by accident. I I even reached out to the varsity field hockey coach, knew about the story, and and she reached out unbeknownst to me to Channel Five, and they pretty much reached out to me right away. So yeah, well, so I, anyway, it's it's a fabulous story. Thank but what's more fabulous is that you that you do it and you did thank it. Thank you. And, um, we appreciate that. So I just wanted to make sure that we Thank recognize you. that. that. Yeah, so yeah. that is great. And um, <laughs> thank you. So thank you from the community. And I think you probably got a lot of thanks from everyone. Thank you. So I appreciate that. Um, that is it. So no, I have one more thing. Oh, you have one more thing. Oh. Yes. Um, Fabian sent an email earlier this last week um, about we need to, we can do it over email. We can legally do this over email about who would love to sit on the trails committee conservation is selecting somebody from their commission to be on the trails committee uh park is right we should have somebody from their um commission so we and i'm putting guys, it out there just to give you guys an idea it's not a major major commitment we're looking at potentially quarterly meetings if not potentially less than that it's just something that we have to do in order to get the stewardship program so I'm only, I was always on that. I, saw I was on, on that in the yeah. way back, whenever that was, yeah. early 2000s. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone else wants it, I'm happy to let someone else do it. But I did used to walk the trails. I don't anymore, but uh, there's too many ticks and bugs and awful <laughs> things out there, honestly. But uh, so if, no, sure. if no one else <laughs> wants it, I am happy to, to, to take on it. I'm good. You're the person that does not like bugs would like to be on the trail committee. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, it's not. It's just that you know they just did. It used to be these diseases out there, and now there's West Nile, and this, so yeah, you're like yeah. what about that? Like, right? And and coming to the voted responsibilities, you are the voted. I am. I am. So yeah, I'm done. Sounds, sounds like the chair. Perfect. Moving on. Yeah. So Perfect. that is. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll just keep you posted with updates. It'll probably be a little bit until we're up and running. Um, this is still early in the game, but yeah, well, I appreciate you, you um, being involved with it too. So thank you. I'll be right there with you too. <laughs> so we'll right, go yeah. through it together. We'll be sharing it. Yeah. 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 Right. No D, but maybe. Uh, all right. All right. I just have one request, Stacey. Are you able to share all the youth, youth group like contacts for me so I can send an email about the getting them involved in the track in the Earth Day trash cleanup or whatever? Their public content, yes. Do you think it'd be okay? I reach out to them or no? Okay. Definitely. All right. I'll email you later this week for details like this. Okay. Yeah. It's also in the back of our brochure. Okay. Online. Yeah. I love the website, by the way. I know it's not that new, but. All right. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Dina. Chris. Aye. Adele. Aye. Cheers, aye. Yay. That passes. We're adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.